The rumor mill is spinning faster than ever, and one product is right at the center of it, the upcoming Apple M5 Mac Mini. For months, the tech community has been buzzing about what Apple is planning for its smallest desktop computer. The question everyone's asking is simple but critical. Will the M5 Mac Mini arrive in late 2025, or will Apple delay its release into 2026? And perhaps even more interesting, how much will Apple actually change in a product that's already known for its power and simplicity? Welcome back to Technology Review, where today we're diving deep into everything that's been uncovered about Apple's next generation of compact performance machines. The M5 and M5 Pro Mac Mini models could mark a major turning point not just for Apple's desktop line, but for the entire strategy behind Apple Silicon. To really understand how far we've come, let's go back for a second. The current Mac Mini lineup running the M4 and M4 Pro chips already pushed boundaries when they launched toward the end of 2024. Apple didn't just refresh the specs, they redesigned the whole machine. For the first time in over a decade, the Mac Mini got smaller, sleeker, and far more efficient. Its footprint shrank dramatically, yet somehow Apple managed to increase internal cooling performance. That compact redesign became the foundation for what's coming next, and from everything we're hearing, the M5 generation will take things even further. The current base M4 Mac Mini starts at just $599, with 16GB of unified memory and 256GB of storage. It's already one of the most affordable entry points into Apple's professional ecosystem. But Apple knows the expectations for the M5 are higher. With so much competition from Windows Mini PCS and compact gaming rigs, Apple has to deliver real improvements, not just minor refinements. At the heart of the M5 Mac Mini will be Apple's brand new M5 chip. It's expected to be built on TSMC's 2 nanometer process, marking a significant leap forward in efficiency and performance. This smaller transistor size will allow Apple to pack in more cores, reduce heat output, and stretch performance far beyond what the M4 achieved. The M5 architecture will reportedly keep the 10-core CPU layout, 6 efficiency cores and 4 performance cores, but with drastically improved clock speeds and smarter energy management. Industry insiders suggest we could see a 25% improvement in multi-core performance and around 15% faster single-core speeds compared to the M4. That might not sound huge on paper, but for a chip already leading the performance per watt race, it's a massive generational jump. What's even more exciting is the rumored GPU upgrade. For years, Apple kept its base-level GPU configurations relatively modest. But with the M5, that's about to change. Reports indicate the base M5 chip could feature 12 GPU cores instead of 10. That means smoother playback, faster rendering, and better support for creative workloads like 3D modeling, video editing, and even light gaming. Apple's M5 Mac Mini could become a genuine mini workstation, a small box that delivers studio-level power. Memory options will likely remain consistent, starting at 16GB of unified memory with upgrade options to 24GB and 32GB. But storage is one area where Apple might make a very welcome change. The current base model ships with 256GB, and frankly, that's just not enough for most workflows in 2025. Apple knows that, and many analysts expect the M5 Mac Mini to start at 512GB. It's a small change that would make a big difference, especially if Apple keeps the price at that magic $599 starting point. Now, let's talk about the M5 Pro version, the model aimed at professionals who need every ounce of performance they can get. The M4 Pro already impressed with its 14-core CPU and 20-core GPU, but Apple is apparently pushing even further this time. The M5 Pro could feature up to 16 CPU cores, made up of 12 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. That's serious power for a desktop that can fit in the palm of your hand. The GPU could rise from 20 to 22 cores, offering even more headroom for intensive creative work, AI workloads, and real-time video effects. 
With these specs, the M5 Pro Mac Mini could challenge not only the Mac Studio but also high-end Windows desktops that cost significantly more. Of course, performance isn't just about raw numbers, it's also about thermals and efficiency. The M5 chip's new 2 nanometers architecture is a huge advantage here. It means less heat for the same workload, quieter fans, and higher sustained speeds. Apple's internal cooling system, which already uses a unified thermal design, will likely be refined to allow longer boost frequencies without thermal throttling. For creators and developers, that means smoother, uninterrupted performance even during heavy workloads. Let's shift to design. While Apple isn't expected to drastically alter the exterior design of the M5 Mac Mini, there could be subtle refinements. Expect the same minimalist aluminum body, possibly in new finishes like space black or titanium gray to match the latest MacBook Pro models. Internally, Apple could make small adjustments to optimize airflow and accommodate next-gen I.O. ports. Speaking of connectivity, the M5 Mac Mini might introduce support for Thunderbolt 5 and Wi-Fi 7, the next big steps in high-speed communication. This would open doors for even faster data transfers, smoother wireless streaming, and ultra-low latency connections for peripherals. Imagine editing massive 8K video files straight from an external SSD or using multiple high refresh rate displays without a single lag spike. That's the kind of future Apple is targeting. Pricing strategy is another area Apple will handle very carefully. The company knows that the Mac Mini's appeal lies in its affordability and flexibility. The base M5 model is expected to stay at $599, while the M5 Pro version will likely start around $1,399. Higher tier configurations could push closer to $2,000 depending on RAM and storage upgrades, but Apple's aim is to keep the Mac Mini as the accessible powerhouse it's always been. Now, the question that's been keeping fans up at night, when will we actually see the M5 Mac Mini? Apple's chip release cycle gives us a clue. The M1 debuted in late 2020, the M2 arrived in mid-2022, the M3 launched in late 2023, and the M4 in mid-2024. If Apple sticks to its pattern, the M5 family should land somewhere between late 2025 and mid-2026. Some early leaks even suggest that Apple could preview the M5 chip in the iPad Pro or Vision Pro before bringing it to the Mac lineup, just like it did with previous generations. So, realistically, the Mac Mini M5 could launch in early 2026, perfectly timed for a new Mac OS release. That brings us to the software side. Mac OS 17, expected to arrive alongside the M5 generation, will focus heavily on AI integration. Apple's been quietly building its own suite of on-device intelligence tools, including Smart Assist, real-time translation, and generative editing tools in apps like Final Cut Pro. These AI-driven features will rely heavily on the neural engine built into the M5 chip, making the M5 Mac Mini a perfect machine for this new wave of local AI computing. This focus on on-device intelligence is no coincidence. Apple wants users to rely less on the cloud and more on their hardware, meaning faster processing, improved privacy, and zero latency for creative workflows. The M5 Mac Mini, therefore, isn't just about speed. It's about unlocking a new level of smart computing that's efficient, capable, and always secure. So what's the bigger picture here? The M5 Mac Mini represents a key step in Apple's transition from raw silicon innovation to integrated AI performance. It's no longer just about faster CPUs or GPUs, it's about how these chips interact with software, how efficiently they run machine learning models, and how seamlessly they connect to other Apple devices. If Apple can deliver on these promises, the M5 Mac Mini could redefine what's possible in a small desktop. It's not just a device for professionals anymore, it's becoming the heart of a future-ready, AI-powered creative ecosystem. By mid-2026, we might be looking at a Mac Mini that rivals desktops triple its price, yet fits comfortably on any desk without fan noise or overheating. A computer that can run multiple 8K streams, 
process complex 3D renders, and handle heavy code compiling, all while sipping power compared to traditional PCs. In conclusion, Apple's M5 and M5 Pro Mac Mini models will carry forward everything users loved about the M4 generation while pushing the boundaries of what a compact desktop can do. Expect higher performance, improved graphics, more efficient cooling, and AI-driven macOS integration, all inside that familiar, beautifully minimal form factor. As always, Apple's timing will be crucial, and so will its pricing. But if the leaks and reports are even half accurate, the M5 Mac Mini could easily become one of the most exciting Apple products of the decade, a perfect balance of size, speed, and intelligence. So here's the question, viewers of Technology Review, when the M5 Mac Mini finally launches, will you be ready to upgrade? Or are you holding out to see what Apple's M6 generation might bring next? One thing's certain, the desktop revolution isn't slowing down anytime soon, and Apple's about to make it even smaller, faster, and smarter than ever before.